Oikikos, den ties allemaal moos. Onder die oprooi vlees, zelfs een snoep is boos. Hello how's it? Welcome to my kitchen and this is Pohikos. My name is Ben Kruger and today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti bolognese for cheetahs. Mm -hmm. First, you need some mince. Enough for everybody who's going to eat. You need a couple of packets of two minute noodles. You need a can of diced Italian tomatoes in tomato sauce. You need a packet of this. This is tomato paste and this one happens to be curry flavored but you don't have to have it flavored. You can have it plain. And of course you need oil, diced onion and salt and pepper. Let's go to the pot. Okay so spaghetti bolognese for cheetahs first. As always, we go with the oil, about half a cup, and then the onions go in, nice chunky onions, they go in, and once you've covered the bottom of the pot, just spread them around so that they cook evenly, and then you put the lid on and you wait until the onions are soft. Yeah. Okay, so my onions are simmering away nicely. It's time for the mince to go in. Just throw the whole lot in there and then stir it around so that it breaks up and it can cook even evenly. Our meat is now nicely browned and it's time to add the condiments. Give it a good stir. Salt. And then a bit of pepper. And remember, once you've added the salt and pepper, give it a taste to make sure it's not undersalted. That's a disaster. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. Doesn't need anything else. Okay, now take our can of diced tomatoes and that goes in. And after the diced tomatoes, we take our little bag of curry flavored tomato paste and we squeeze that in. Make sure you get all of it up because you've got to give it a really good squeeze. It's like that toothpaste tube right at the end of its life. Once all that has gone in, Take your wooden spoon again and stir. And now all you have to do is wait for it to come to a simmer. Then we add the two minute noodles. And four or five minutes later, what have we got? A cheetah's spaghetti bolognese. See you just now. Our mixture is now bubbling nicely. And it's time for the two minute noodles. Just break them into the pot and spread them over evenly. And then it's time to put the lid back on and wait until the noodles are soft. And there you have it. Cheetahs spaghetti bolognese. Okay, it's now been five minutes since I've put in the two minute noodles. Let's check. The moment those noodles are soft, this dish is ready to dish up and to eat. Let's go and taste. Right, spaghetti bolognese for cheetahs. Mm. The tomato paste and the tomato chunks give it a bit of a bite and then strangely enough the two minute noodles give it a creaminess which is really really nice hmm. you could probably flavor this up with other stuff like coriander chili sauce maybe a bit of tabasco over the top but this is really really nice nice and salty 
the flavor of the tomato coming through and that creaminess of the noodles. If you want more noodles, very simple, you just add another packet of two minute noodles. And you can make a big batch, freeze it in individual portions and eat of this lovely stuff for two weeks, three weeks. Or like me when I was a student, polish it in three days. Mm. There's only one thing wrong with this picture. I wish I had somebody to share it.